though the comedy musical opens at the Smith Center on July 6th, then John Castellamides of the Las Vegas Sun is here. He's been following this uh, pretty much from when it started, right? right. All mm -hmm. through the rehearsals. And next week, it's going to be uh, your story will be on the cover of Las Vegas Weekly. We are right? writing all about Idaho the musical, the comedy musical. It's opening July 6th, mm -hmm. uh, the soft opening, the previews, and then July 9th at Reynolds Hall at, uh, at the Smith Center. And this is in a long time coming. The, the musical is, uh, is an adaptation of uh, the the musical Oklahoma as if written by Mel Brooks. That's okay. the that's the the general uh, and and succinct description of Idaho. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the co-writers are Buddy Sheffield, who's known for his uh, work on In Living Color. He's a TV comedy writer for many years, a theater writer, and Keith Thompson, who's the uh, music director for Jersey, Jersey Boys. They teamed up to write uh, the the script and the music for this. It's been showcased in Las Vegas for many years. Uh, I first saw. A performance of a song from Idaho in 2006 at the Composer Showcase at Suede. Yeah. So it's been it's been in development for that long. It's got a, a team of people who are uh, from have Las Vegas connections, including the Smith Center officials Myron Martin and Paul Beard. We have Andy Walmsley designing the set, the Emmy Award winning yeah. uh, set designer who lives in Las Vegas. And uh, this is the first full scale Broadway musical that's going to be staged in Las Vegas with the idea that it can go to Broadway and yeah. be a full-scale musical, and it's being produced by the Smith Center. Well, I was looking at your headline. You said, is it appealing enough to appeal. go to Broadway? Will it appeal? It's very sticky. Uh, very sticky, DR. That's a good one. I, think we have, <laughs> I don't know if we have some pictures. I think we have of the rehearsals and stuff like that that uh, you guys had sent us. I don't know do we, if we have those. We can bring some of those I'll up. I'll act but, it out. But you, were, you actually traveled to... We all went to Idaho. Yeah. Yeah, all of us went to Idaho. Myron and uh, Paul Beard and Buddy and Matt Lenz and the choreographer Michelle Lynn and Andy, we all went to Idaho because none of these people who were involved in the, in the structuring of Idaho, the musical, had ever been to Idaho, and I'm originally from Idaho, so it was a barnstorming tour. We went through Boise, Idaho. Right. We went through uh, Pocatello Lava Hot Springs, Idaho, where my father owns a bed and breakfast there, mm -hmm. and learned a little bit about the state. Right. So that was back in September. And well, that's, that's perfect. That's yeah. touched on in the story. <laughs> exactly, and we'll see all those pictures in the story as well. Let's talk a little NHL. Um, yes. I wanted to talk to you because last week we talked about this. Today is, is a big day because we're expecting they're going to officially announce that we're getting a team, and we're a, hoping anyway. I mean, about it's an hour, ninety-nine point nine percent mm -hmm. sure, right? If it's somewhere else, I will, uh, among other people, will just drop if it's mm -hmm. not announced today. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it's going to be it's going to be happening in about an hour. Gary Bettman, the commissioner of the NHL, is going to be at Encore, and that's going to be uh, uh, imparted at that point. And you got you yesterday were with the Stanley Cup, and you were around all mm -hmm. that hubbub last night, and was the chatter of excitement or? You know, it's very interesting. There's a, a lot of buzz about it, but it, there's also some questioning about like. The, what I'm feeling is, do you think this will work? Mm -hmm. There's an excitement, but also, is this, you know, is this something that uh, is going to work in Las Vegas? It's uncharted territory for mm -hmm. us, uh, and that, there is a lot of. Uh, anxiousness about the NHL coming here but right. there is certainly uh, a, a lot there are certainly a lot of questions to be answered but it's a big big moment in the terms uh, in terms of Las Vegas being a big league city in a sports context for sure right. yeah and I wonder tonight what the NHL awards are in town, yes right? they're going to be broadcast tonight how the actual players and the other teams will react to that. I, th I would assume everyone will want to be on the Las Vegas team right I mean it's the fun well place you know <laughs> the NHL likes Las Vegas a lot yeah. they've been doing the award show here since 2009 mm -hmm. and the cup has been here a lot and the players come here a lot you know it, uh, only, uh, professional athletes are like any other you know, celebrities. They love coming to Las Vegas. They like right. that affiliation. So it's great for the league to have Las Vegas and play that way. We have a relationship already established. Um, and I would guess that a player would want to be you know, stationed in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to be great that way. What we just need to do is figure out if this team can sustain 44 home dates a year right. at about 17,000 fans. That's, that's a new thing for Las yeah, Vegas. Sure that's is. a lot of tickets, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, catch John's story in the Las Vegas Weekly on Idaho the Musical on the cover this Sunday, right? We're going to be, uh, this Thursday is the Idaho Thursday. story, and then the coverage of the NHL awards starts today. Perfect. And there's going to be a column uh, about that online, maybe even now, and then in the paper tomorrow, and we're going to be covering that. So it's a busy, busy week here. All right. Busy. We'll let you go. Thanks, All John. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Stay with us. We're back after this.